Hey guys, Doug here. <clears throat> I've got this uh, brass nut ready to be made. I've got it uh, machined, uh, chucked up and centered. We've um, got the boring bar made, the small boring bar with a one inch, uh, one eighth inch square high speed steel bit. And like I mentioned there, we had to broach a one eighth inch square hole with a tool bit. Could have used a round one, but you know, locating it, getting it turned just right. And uh, this way, I was able to use the uh, universal grinding fixture and put this little tool bit in there and grind the exact form and relief angle on both sides. Uh, it's very hard to do with a small bit like this by eye, even using the Acme threading gauge. But I've already cut a couple passes through here, and everything is set up and it's cutting good. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys here. This is the lead screw that I ordered, 12 inches. And I'm just replacing the lead screw part of the cross feed. I'm going to pin this real and shrink fit it. But uh, I got this from a company called Roton. They're, they specialize in lead screws and nuts and things like that. They didn't have a nut like this shape or even close to something I could modify. So, And all, everything else was too expensive. The nut from clothing was astronomical, a carbide boring bar. You know, everything was a hundred plus dollars so I got nothing but time anyway so I decided to make a bar O1 steel you know and, and uh, make a brooch to uh, brooch this square hole in here after we drilled a round hole of course so uh, we're running through here and I'll show you how it works <clears throat> now what I did I'm, I've got the half nuts engaged and I'm not going to leave them and I'm not going to leave them um, I'm not going to undo them I should say and um, so what we're doing here is just uh, back feeding in and then I'll stop it set the depth like right there and we'll take about five Reverse the spindle. Sorry about that. And I just took a couple thousand that time. But it's cutting real good. It's hard to show you on the camera. But uh, this is what I'm doing. And when I get close, then uh, we'll use this for a gauge. And we'll get a really, really, really nice fit on here. And uh, when I get close to there, I'll bring the camera back over. And we'll do another video and we'll show you what kind of fit we got. We'll be back in a little while. Hey guys, Doug back here. <clears throat> well, I think we're pretty close to what we want. Um, we're going to take this we're going to take this rod now and we're going to see what kind of fit we got. So, let's take it here. It's left hand. There it goes. There it goes. It's a little tight right there. I think what I'll do, I'll just uh, turn it on and run it in and out a couple of times, kind of lap it in. But uh, that's that's pretty that's pretty tight. In fact, it's a little too tight. But uh, and I might just take the pressure from the tool and uh, relieve it a little bit. But uh, there we go. New nut and lead screw for the cross feed. Thanks for watching, guys.